All right, we had our first documentary shot in May, uh, May 9th to be exact. Um, after we shot that documentary, some things happened. Um, can we go into that? What, what transpired after our first meeting? Well, um, it's, it's, it's something that I've been reluctant to talk about, but I, I will talk about it. At least get it on the record. and squealing and screaming and I just ran down through here and that's right beyond this tree beyond this foliage that's where it all took place this right first there. tree right here right beyond this evergreen tree okay. and these these leaves right there right in that open space just beyond this tree. That's where I saw this thing killing my dog.
talks about the stand of trees where I crawled up on and shot this way, where the obelisk was here. This is the exact place where it all took place. This is the place where the obelisk was, right here, where I broke through the brush and fell against it, right here. Because it was high, and it, there was a little valley, there's a little rut there that I didn't see because of the underbrush, and I just kind of came crashing right through there against it. It was right here. It was sitting right here. It was this high off the ground. It wasn't touching the ground. It wasn't hovering. It was just as if it was anchored to the air. In place. Even 13 years later, it still feels weird to be here. It still feels sad and uncomfortable. Because my dog died, because I was so sick, because nothing made sense. Overcoming the whole room or the area, but it's just a you have this sense of this smell and then usually within about 20 or 30 seconds he just appears in like the corner of the room or the right next to you or wherever you happen to be well this is uh, this is this has occurred over the last 13 years more than a hundred times and yes it has occurred with many other people. I mean, there there was as many as, I think there was like 400 plus people at one time in a, in a conference I was doing. So it's not just me that's seeing this. It's totally a physical thing. It's not, an, you know, it's not kind of a, a wispy cloud kind of thing. It's there. He's there with you, just like you're standing next to another person. That's to see or to semi experience and through that information we're trying to learn more we're trying to put some kind of logical explanation of why all this is happening but there is a lot of it we can't add up we don't have all of the input to give a full explanation I mean I think man human beings search for a logical pattern in everything. But I think some of this is beyond our comprehension, uh, even though we s continue to search for this logical pattern, you know, the why, when, how, where, and who. But in reality, some of the who is just us and them. And that there's a, a bigger than just a symbiotic relationship. It's almost like we are part of the same but in just a different dimension, just in a different, uh, a different reality, but yet we're still linked and there's still a great importance to them about us. Almost as if we are part of them. And, and like I said, extrapolating this information from years and thousands of people who have had contact we're trying to, to weigh all this information out, and it's incomplete. I mean, I wish it was more complete. You know, but be, besides, you know, trying to gather the, the importance of this, you're always also battling the disinformation and the, the assassination attempts on your character and all those around you and your family. And it's, it's a war. It's a war that I've had to...